a sail to keep. No, I dropped it. It's gone. Gone. My maker, know my heart. Take from me a life of. Right. Cage confession. He was alive. I didn't even dare hope. Louis wrote this confession. He killed your brother. No, that can't be. God is fighting in the war. He enlisted with the Empress's army. I'd like to be alone. Please leave. I know it's hard to take, but I'm sorry. Let's go. Oh, Jerome SF is live. That's, I wish I could do that, but I'm going to be going to work here in an hour. Actually, an hour and a half, but technically I've got an hour to do stuff, and then i got to get ready and go for work. I wish I could have stopped and watched his live stream. I like his live streams. But, unfortunately, I am filming this. I just started a brand new session, and it's all going to be going yeah uh, yeah I can't even go this way I don't know why I'm bothering what's this what's a what's a good route up there can I get there from this pass not to touch that lyrium this isn't even a pass never mind where the heck is a pass I have to go the other way to go to the up way Good. We don't want them to. Oh, what are you? Silverite. And Bloodstone. Need it. Bloodstone. <clears throat> need it. Silverite. Need it. Got an eye out. My dear Cassandra, whatever persuaded you to bring Varric to the Conclave? I wanted him to testify about the events at Kirkwall to the Divine. He wrote all of that down, did he not? He didn't need to come in person. The Divine also wanted him to autograph her copy of Hard in Hightown. What? You never told me that. It was a minor consideration. You should feel flattered. That our former Divine kidnapped and brutalized her favorite authors? Oh, yes. <laughs> Thrilled. Oh, 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 oh. Need that, need, need that, need that Dawnstone. Need it. I have an unhealthy obsession with minerals, Murray. Hello, brothers. We've been scouting the region, your worship. I have some supplies here you may find useful. Uh, I'll leave you two to it. Bring it back to Skyhold. We'll do something with it, maybe. There's got to be a way in there. Where did these tunnels lead? I'm not going the right direction. I'm getting farther and farther away from where I need to go. The problem I have with this game, it's right back to the same problem, so where the hell do I go? Oh. Warning, don't touch my pyramid. I mean, it's a nice pyramid you got, but that doesn't help me any. I'm not dealing with you. A lot of good you guys were. <sighs> if I ever did my fears to you, there'd be nothing left for me to do. Hey, hey. Uh, <laughs> I went in a circle. But there's stairs. This is promising, more promising than I've, more promised than I've had in a long time. My gosh. There were stairs. My gosh, that didn't matter. Please. Please, no. 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 No! I hate everything! Thank you. Thank you, I just had to use the power of my hatred. Except this doesn't help any! Why? 
Where the hell is this thing? This hurts so bad. Hurts to the point that I don't really even care. I'm going back to Skyhold for now. We did enough in El Priest de Leon for, to be starting with. So let's get the heck out. I'm going to go talk to Colin again, see if there's anything we can do. Who's Snapchatting me? Oh, it's Monica. It was a, it was a Snapchat of a goat. Awesome. Random, but awesome, I guess. Uh, wasn't there someone I could judge? Why don't I do that, and then I'll talk to Colin. We got some stuff to do. Oh, did you just move weirdly again, Varric? You did, didn't you? You naughty. I like this throne, though, isn't it? Mistress Pulin of Sarnia is accused of aiding and abetting the Red Templars in the Dales. She sold a quarry to them for a handsome sum. They used the quarry to grow red lyrium by enslaving townspeople. The only extenuating circumstance, Mistress Pulin was procuring supplies to keep the remaining townspeople fed. If you'd like to explain your intentions, speak. My crime was misjudgment. The land sale was meant to bring prosperity in hard times. Surely it was clear you were selling to the enemy. We were starving, and they told me they'd reopen the mines. Selling the quarry so hastily was a mistake. I did what I could to rectify it. Hmm. I mean, kind of a noble intention. And the time of war... I can kind of understand. She did, she did try to free it up. You know what? You I have mercy. Without knowledge of whom you dealt with, that makes villains of anyone. You're free to leave, but don't appear before us again. No, your worship, never. Thank you. I'm recording. A, yeah, I am recording commentary. Good. I <laughs> had a momentary minute of panic where I was like, "Oh shoot! Did I hit the button?" That would be awkward. So when's the next stage available? Maybe that's not until after we do um, Wicked Eyes and Wicked Hearts. Huh. Well, that's all for now. <laughs> I, I didn't even remember that's what she was going to say. Alright, so one last bit of revisionist history that I'm going to try to do. i um, going to try and save the Empress because I was dissatisfied with well not dissatisfied I was a little disappointed with the way I let the Empress die last time lock from the other side of course it is get out, guys get you always like so, you're always crowding me don't do it that I can't get through guys stop it seriously seriously guys I'm losing court approval I worked hard to get 84 court approval Thank the Maker you're back. The Empress will begin her speech soon. What should we do? If we are not going to let Celine die this time. The Grand Duchess is the assassin. Don't let her anywhere near the Empress. Duchess? At once, Inquisitor. Let all gathered attend. Her Imperial Majesty will now address the court. Lords and ladies, as a nation, we mourn our sons and daughters, brothers and sisters, friends and lovers claimed by war. The sky is torn open, our divine is dead, and many fear the end of all things comes upon us. Orle must stand as a bastion, a bulwark behind which all Fidas may take shelter. So has it stood for a thousand years. So shall it ever stand. This would not have been possible without the efforts of many. Dear cousin, please step forward. Grand Duchess, stand down! Now! Poor Corypheus! Kill them all! 
This is different. Well, at least Orle will see her for the traitor she is. Yes, Inquisitor. Your sister attempted regicide in front of the entire court, Gaspard. You're the spy master. If anyone knew this atrocity was coming, it was you. You don't deny your involvement. I do deny it. I knew nothing of Florian's plans. But you... You knew it all and did nothing. <laughs> I don't know which is better. That you think I'm all-seeing? Or that you're trying so hard to play innocent? And failing? Enough! We will not bicker while Tevinter plots against our nation. For the safety of the Empire, I will have answers. Hmm. To support Briala? Briala helped stop Florian? Did she really, though? Did she actually? Like, what? Hmm, I'm trying to think back. I was skipping through a lot of this to kind of get get through it, but did she know about Florian? She never really mentioned anything about Florian, other than uh, sending the elf, the one elf, to Florian's room, which nearly killed her, which we don't actually know the context of. Gaspar definitely was guilty in some way, shape, or form. Not as guilty as Florian, but... Ugh. Don't want to change it too much. I wouldn't have caught Florian in time without Briala's help. You were working together. Of course. Gaspard murdered a Council of Heralds emissary. We found the body and the Duke's knife downstairs. The Council will not overlook such a horrendous crime, cousin. It would be a horrendous crime, if it were true. But I have done no such thing. Keep talking, Gaspard. Eventually you'll convince somebody. There were also the threats Gaspard made to the Council of Heralds to bully them into giving him the crown. <laughs> Gaspard is a bully. Is that the worst you can say of me? And his mercenary captain will be happy to tell you all their plans for the coup tonight. Briala found all of this out for your sake, Celine. In light of overwhelming evidence, we have I guess, kinda. to declare you an enemy of the Empire. You are hereby sentenced to death. Do we reconcile Selene and Briala? Will that help? Now I'm, con now I'm conflicted right back to being conflicted. This is what I love about the game. Having to make all the decisions. Because this is what I want to do. Because um, I want, like, yes, spare Gaspard's life. Like, be merciful. Okay. You have enough proof to dissolve his support for the throne, Your Majesty. You don't need to take his life. As a favor to you, Inquisitor, I will let him live. Gaspar, you are hereby banished from the Empire on pain of death. <laughs> Is that all? You're too kind, Celine. Thank you, Inquisitor, for all your efforts tonight. I owe you my life. And Orlé owes you its future. You have done a service for the Empire never to be forgotten, my friend. This piece is your doing. You truly are the instrument of Andraste. Orlé will never forget your part in this. Nor will I. Lords and ladies of the court, the civil war which has plagued us is at an end. The Orlesian Empire is whole again. 
Those who drove us into war for selfish gain have been dealt with as traitors. Gaspard de Chalon is guilty of treason. He is no longer our cousin and shall never again hold title or land in Orlais. We have lost enough. No more! Now, we can move forward to healing and restoration. In our hour of need, the Inquisition has faced these dangers beside us. It is the honor of Orlais to stand with Andraste's herald to end this crisis. And in ages to come, our children and grandchildren can say that we left them a brighter world. Will you address the court, my friend? Ending the war was the first step. Our final goal must be peace for all, Thedas. Well said, Inquisitor. We of the court must use our resources. Not every battle is won on the field. But that is tomorrow. Tonight, feast, my friends. Enjoy our victory. There will be many more to come. Hey, that was pretty good. The Orlesian nobility. Also, I may have just started speaking before my microphone actually turned back on. <laughs> Sorry about that. Do you tire so quickly of their congratulations, Inquisitor? Tis most fickle, after all your efforts on their behalf. Everyone suddenly wants to talk to me. You, at least, I'm glad to see. <laughs> then I have happy news, as you shall be seeing a great deal more of me. By Imperial decree, I have been named liaison to the Inquisition. Selene wishes to offer you any and all aid, including mine. Congratulations. Welcome to the Inquisition, Morrigan. A most gracious response. I shall meet you at Skyhold. 